Hello again! Daily time is Eden. Daily time is Eden. Eden starting with the razor blade, brilliant, and a full card. And we're going to Mom's heart. Let's see. Yay. And a bomb. Uh, we have a $3 bill, which is a uh, pretty decent uh, tier effect, although obviously random tier effects every three seconds, I believe. Uh, it can be dangerous. Uh, help. For example, in that exact situation, Fool or Hermit? Well, maybe if we find a, um, a, a curse room on this floor, that'll answer the question for us. That exact situation. It can be dangerous. There was a good example in that if we had had piercing shots, we could not have shot the troll bomb that threatened our lives away from us. Uh, had we got too close to an enemy with... Ooh, these are changing fast. Um, with Firemind, which is what we had just there, it could explode in our face. Now we have double shot. So we've got 2020 and Boomerang tears. Now we've got Teeth. We've found our item room. That looks like 2020. Uh, that's like number one, because we've got a short range. I have to suggest that this is probably slightly better for us than the option to injure ourselves for no particular reason on a regular basis. Hmm. Gluttony. Okay, well there's no curse room, so I guess that answers that question. Wow. Good job. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to suggest maybe we use our... Ooh, I thought I was out of range, to be honest. So this is fine. Um, I think we should roll with Hermit. It will let us get into a shop for free at some point, whereas the fool will only let us get out of something to no great benefit. So they do the same thing from here on out. Careful there. Except that the hermit does one extra thing. Is this just a vanilla no effect here thing going on? Wow, careful. Want to watch out for this. So the Eden start is fairly strong, I think. Um, I do like $3 bill. I would have taken it if it was in the item room. It wasn't. Uh, unfortunately, what was in the item room probably doesn't <laughs> do this too well. Wow, come on now. This is a pretty shit fight. I do not like Ragman. Uh, <laughs> at all. It's very difficult for the first floor, especially when you haven't really started with a huge damage bonus. I mean, as Eden, you can start with really any stats within a range. But sort of having $3 bill from the outset just means we don't know what our base damage is like. It seems alright, it seems sort of very isaac -y defaults, but see now there's a curse room, but we can't make use of it because we don't want to take any shit! Red heart damage! Run away! Please die! <laughs> okay, we made it. Everyone breathe out. I would very much like <laughs> some uh, some assistance in the sense of spirit hearts. If that's not too much trouble. That could be our fire, but I'm not going to risk it. When we get the um, triple shot, that kind of hurts because everything slows down to such a great extent. And it is still cold in my house. I feel like the, the effects are stacking up sometimes. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> Fine. Uh, no bombs. No, no keys. Well, no bombs either, but one bomb. Whatever. Who's counting, right? We're only going to Mom's heart, so if we can get further than that, it'll be great. However, I mean, that does mean we don't need to worry about Boss Rush. That was a perfect bomb. It's got all the things I was hoping for. 15 cents, which allows us to use a Hermit card to get out of the Cursed Room and into the shop for free, which we probably want to do, but we don't want to actually... Oh, this is terrible. Terrible items. We don't want to use... Well, we don't want to do that yet because we don't want to go into the curse room because it'll hurt. We don't, we don't want things to hurt. So if we can just uh, keep this up without taking any more damage, that's going to be great. Any more damage, any damage at all. We've continued to not take damage. We have no bombs. 2020 is a great item. Uh, except for the random ones, but I haven't seen a tinted drop, so I guess it doesn't matter. We'll use this here and hope for the fucking best. Oh, shit. Hi. That didn't do as nearly as much as I was hoping it would. Shh. Just don't take damage. It's as simple as that. Don't get hit. 
trivial. Just keep doing this. This is actually working. A uh, three dollar bill could fuck us over. But then uh, Lil Horn could shoot himself with a bomb, so it kind of works both ways. I'd like an effect that's going to do more damage than no damage. Please. Oh, stop it. <laughs> He's doing a lot more attacks today. He seems to be very feisty. He's really going for it. He wants us out of here, doesn't he? Look at him. It's not going to work, I'm afraid. Sunshine. These bombs. These are the ones you can keep doing. Yes. Yes. We did it. We get a deal with the devil. We get an HP upgrade. Uh, I'll definitely take the Athame because it will allow us to recover HP. I think I'll take this as well because both of them work when we get hit. Uh, and although it's five minutes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Currently, I'm just playing in order to play. I know that we should be racing to bus rush and doing all those competitive things that will give us an advantage. But at this point, I'm not entirely, not too concerned. I think uh, we will probably take this. I like the compass. It's not the greatest thing. It gives you some idea of where to go, but it doesn't give you an idea of how to get from here to there. So it's some information, but not all information, I guess. We're not obviously based on that. Ah, the caves actually might help. The, the XL floor might help. We're not. Um, oh shit! <laughs> Completely behind on time, and we have got an XL floor, which will allow us to make up some time, provided we can do enough damage to go at a reasonable pace. It seems to be working out. Uh, however, we haven't really upgraded ourselves. I mean, I, I did prefer to take the item we've got, the, the Anarchist Cookbook, over... what was it? Monster Manual? Monster Manuel? Which, you know, the choice of those two, it's not a choice you want to be faced with. Uh, it's actually a pretty difficult... To me, it was a pretty difficult choice. Apart from the fact we couldn't get to the Monster Manual, it could be really good for us. It's the same charge time, three rooms. The only reason it's not is that I feel like the bombs could really help... Maybe they find us a Tinterdrock or blow open uh, a path to a chest that we want to open. Or an item that's blocked off by... A, that we need to make a bridge for. Um, I know the bombs are random, but they could be really useful for us. Please, let's just not draw attention to how good that dodging was, and maybe it will continue that well. We don't want to shy away. I'm going to scare it off. These proptosis shots, though. Just <laughs> they're too small. They're tiny. I was hoping if we are going to get proptosis as a... Oh, I keep shivering because I'm fucking freezing. <clears throat> if you're going to get proptosis as a tear effect, I'd like to get the huge tear part of it as well. That's all right with you. Good game. Please explode. Didn't explode. So here's an opportunity to make a bomb, so we'll do it. I'd like to... Uh, bridge? Well, we fucked that up. <laughs> we weren't going to... Well, we could have... We could have made our way to it with our actual bombs, but then we've only got two of those, so... Can you... Yeah. That. Make yourself known. We don't have an orbital. I feel like we should. <coughs> our damage is not enough. I mean... These things not dying ASAP. They need to die ASAP. This is probably a secret room. What do we win? A uh, chest. With a... Hmm, not much. I think $3 bill is actually not necessarily working out as well for us as it could be. But it... it I'm not sure if it's a damage... Another book. I think this may be a book run. <laughs> we don't really need that. Uh, telepathy for dummies. It will give us occasional uh, homing shots, which we've seen before. And it did really well, because we had brimstone back then, but... As it stands. Yeah, I thought I dodged, but it turns out I was stuck in a rock. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. Wow. So all the good stuff is completely inaccessible to us. Unless you want to suddenly figure out how to fly. I believe it involves taking your weight off one foot. And then you take your weight off the other foot. Please. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> I thought he died. Uh, okay, this is bad. We'll uh, try not to die on this particular room. But these enemies... Like, normally... 
You would expect them to die a little bit faster than they are doing, I think it's fair to say. Taking a lot of red heart damage, but there you go, I guess can't be helped. We'll fight our first boss and maybe recharge our item and fight our second boss. See if bombs are going to help. Possibly not. Not a fan of the bonies here in this uh, fight. We're really fast all of a sudden. I don't, I don't know why I don't deserve this speed, but... Okay. Well, now we're slow again. Maybe I had a tear effect that speeds you up? I mean, I assumed it was just tear effects. Like, literally, you just got tear effects, but maybe you get the effect from the item as well. So we must have had an item that speeds us up as well as the tear effect. But which? Uh, at least this is a, a relaxingly simple fight, although having this little damage for it, I've never seen it take that long. And apparently we are not entirely cursed with shitty items, so there's that. And we'll go back. We could recharge it with a battery. But I kind of want to go and visit our other item room anyway, so two birds, one stone sort of thing. Oh, I'm shivering slightly. Hopefully our heating will be fixed tomorrow and I can stop complaining about it, but it gives me something to talk about when all we're doing is trying to shoot these enemies and executing amazing dodges. Oh, yeah. Quick, wise. This room is not my favourite room. I could really do with a damage upgrade. I mean, speedball doesn't really do that. Uh, obviously, it's a speed and shot speed upgrade. So it allows our shots to be slightly more potent, but it doesn't actually improve us. Uh, I say slightly more damage. They are a little bit more reliable when trying to hit with them, I guess. We've got to get rid of that. There we go. How are we going to dodge all these? Just hope for the best. Focus. Oh, we didn't. Ah, oh, we didn't. Right, use Athame. Use Athame. It worked. Oh, we got hit anyway. That's really upsetting. I'll tell you what. Those are... Uh, those extra shots that come out of this, sometimes they're extraordinarily difficult to dodge. I'm surprised we found the secret room on a uh, huge floor. A curse of the Labyrinth XL floor. I'm glad that we did, and we got Rotten Baby, which I will talk about. Because Rotten Baby is an excellent item. I don't necessarily want to go to the shop. Rotten Baby will allow... Well, especially when we have a good tier effect. Uh, what does this do? It pulls, obviously. Ah, this could help. Does it pull this? Yes! Oh, I like it. I'm keeping this. Uh, Rotten Baby will produce flies on a regular basis, which is not necessarily that great a coup, but... If our tears are highly damaging, that's going to be tremendous. Fuck me, are you kidding me? Let's just do this. <laughs> See what happens. Hi. We've got some damage done. That's okay. Um, but the Rotten Baby Flies should home in on the enemies, irrespective of where we are. So they're just going to be that little bit of extra crowd control, that little bit of extra damage, double R tier damage, which is still shit, by the way. So anything you want to give me that will improve that, I'm all for. Um, but yeah, the, the occasional Rotten Baby Fly, it's no, it's no Guppy's head, it's no Guppy itself. Uh, Hive Mind would be a great pickup now because those flies are going to do even more damage. Really knocking out the park. If there's an actual damage upgrade, which I can't be salty about. I'm going to leave now. Really want to get into Boss Rush. It's important. So we're in the depths one. 12 minutes, which is fine. It's a, it's a good time. Crikey, how did I touch that? <gasps> um, think about the curse room. I'm not sure about the curse room, if I'm quite honest. That! Why are you so fast? Oh, does it pull enemies as well? Maybe it does. I think it does. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I like this anymore. Uh, there's just randomly shit on the I'm gonna drop it. I'm dropping it. <laughs> I mean, it was great when it was just giving me free stuff, but. Oh, another damage upgrade. Amazing. This has become too dangerous. I'm not gonna keep that magnet. I can't. I can't afford to. It pulled those ghosts at us, which took me a while to realise, and then it. Confirmed itself by pulling those other fuckers at us. These have to go. It hit me! Like, they have such a low chance of actually hitting me. And it hit me! Six shots in a radial pattern like that. 
have such a low chance of intersecting with where I happen to be. Chicken cracker, that chance goes up if I'm moving? Maybe. But I have to move somewhere, and I was moving away from it. Now, this is an option. Hmm. I mean, maybe we should wait until the womb for that sort of... <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Kill it. This is bad. Oh, my, my dodges have sucked today. You know, you've seen how it's been. Some of my dodges have been amazing, and some of my dodges have been absolute shit. I can't fathom it. I don't know how to... I don't know how to reconcile this situation in my head. It's like a logical impossibility. It is its own direct negative. We should go to the item room first. We have got some time, but I don't want to spend too much time. Six cents could give us... Um, well, uh, a spirit heart from the shop. But so could that tinted drop, which just randomly exploded and gave us some free bombs and spirit heart. I have taken red heart damage, which I'm not proud of. Uh, but then, how can you be? But, <laughs> in fairness, that was in my... I have a, I seem to have a very fast oscillation of being shipped today. Normally it's a, a few weeks between slump and, you know, benefit. What does D8 do? Your all stats. Okay. How about now? Tears were slower. Our tears have gone down. Oh no, they don't seem to have. But they look a lot bigger. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, we'll take Spirit Heart like I said I would. Okay. One more room, I suppose. Oh, not necessarily one more room. I really don't like these things. They seem to be fucking everywhere as well. Please. You. Uh, I'm just going to leave it. We need to have enough time to get through depth 2. Nearly walked into that. Let's try not to. There's still a couple more rooms, and we have to do the big room, so. You know. Allow ourselves some time. So, actually. Especially with enemies that disappear all the time. Uh, extraordinarily irritating. No. I really hate these ghosts. They seem to manage to shoot in this situation, in this angle that preempted where I was. I thought only Bonies did that, but no. Right, Gish, have some Anarchist cookbook bombs. Well, it didn't work too well. Did some damage. Not really the... Not really the win that I was hoping for. Let's see if we can get rid of this Gish so it doesn't shoot me. The sort of enemy that I leave on the, on the pitch and then all of a sudden, oh shit, I've taken some random damage from left field. Oh, it's one of those things that can shoot diagonally that I've been ignoring. Yeah, great. Uh, little guess is a thing, and we'll just leave. I'm tired, I want to go to bed, I want to stop being cold. Blah, blah, complain, complain. We're doing alright, we've not died. I think that means we're doing alright. Uh, we should probably do boss trap for the points. I think we can do boss trap and also make boss rush. Our newly rerolled stats seem decent. I could do the speed upgrade as well. Oh, we can't do that. That's a shame. We need to sell our HP, which we have not been able to, on account of how I keep squandering my deals with the devil. It's been okay. Normally I manage to ruin that fight somehow, but I lose it today, so small mercies. And our item room. Oh, you again. Didn't I just complain about you? That means don't show up again. Well, we have it. It's a tears upgrade, which is nice. Uh, there's been one of these on every floor, and I'm betting now. I'm putting good money, by which I mean no money, on the fact that as soon as we want to actually do that, you know, on the very last floor, the mom's heart fight floor, room two, there won't be one. So I'm saying right now, in a very complex way, there will be no... Uh, I'm betting that there will be no self-sacrifice room on the womb tomb. Because that's when I need there to be one. That was a very good haul. Three bombs for three spirit hearts. You can't really say fairer than that. Normally, like here's a situation where I have no idea what my chance of getting the spirit heart is. Uh, it's apparently pretty good, but in retrospect, all chances are exactly what they turned out to be. And here's our mom fight. So we came back with plenty of time. I'm um, fan of that. No. Now we just have to win. 
I'm not going to use Anarchist Cookbook here. It seems like a terrible idea. I really wish we had uh, a stronger orbital. Any orbital, really. We have a familiar. That looks like an orbital. Uh, well done. Go me. Good job. And I also wish that the Athame here was actually Call of the Void, which we had yesterday. It was doing an incredible amount of damage for us, because it was basically a, a little brimstone every so often with a slightly irritating range on it. We'll take the polar ring. We will take both. Black powder we might as well take, because if we're taking Incubus, it costs us both our HPs anyway. Uh, ha <laughs> ha okay. Thank you. No, thank you. So now I can just keep re-rolling this until I get something I want. How does that sound? We have... Incubus is going to do exactly what our tears are doing, apparently. So the $3 bill applies to Incubus as well. We've basically doubled our, our DPS with one item. We must think about Black Powder. We're not really fast enough to think about Black Powder, right? I think that's the, the uh, conclusion I'm going to draw from this. I'd like to be faster so that we can draw bigger Black Powder circles, but we can't. Especially when Gish is slowing us down. I'm going to stay above the enemies in between so I can see what's happening. It's all... Uh, well, <laughs> apart from the fact that's where Gertie spawned, so I'm glad that it was Larry Jr. that spawned there before I completely ate shit on that one. But it'd be good to have some idea... I don't want to be beamed, basically. I want to be shot with a beam halfway across the floor. Reroll. It's triple shot. Well, when we do get triple shot, it's really slow. Really slow shots. Really slow shot speed. I nearly got shot by little Steven there without realising. I don't know what I did to deserve that spirit heart, but I'm going to uh, be thankful for it rather than complain. So thank you for the random spirit heart. Here's a very possible beam situation. Maybe I actually managed to make... Um... Oh, good. Maybe I managed to make Athame work for once. That would be fine. Happy to accept that. Uh, I don't want to take it, so don't get me near it. There's no way of focusing on the correct enemy at this stage, which I think is the difficult part. That's not a black heart, no. Just try and make sure there's no riffraff left on the screen. The fear shot's going to help, especially with gurglings. And the amount of damage, the firepower that we've got on the screen is really helpful in some situations. Three dollar bill is going to... It's going to be given us great <laughs> times and hard times, so just have to be aware of that. Uh, I don't really need the hourglass, I don't think. I think the hourglass just literally slows everything down. Oh, it's a usable item that can slow things down, so. Did take some silly damage there. Those angel statues always seem to hit me, mind you, so. I guess it's uh, something to put on the list of things to practice. Practice angels. What else have we got? The, uh,. Adversary can very easily hit us from across screen, so I'm going to try and focus fire the adversary. These hoppers are not going to be too much of an issue, but they could become an issue. Especially if the adversary goes too close to the <laughs> the, the Mega Maw there. So, please if we can... Yes, good. I should probably put a bomb down and get rid of that. These, are uh, yeah. These rocks, because they've been in the way of all the enemies that have drifted towards the middle. Who first here? Probably Pestilence first because of the... Yeah, that. Thank you. Uh, little Chad... Well, big Chad. is going to be a problem only when we shoot him down to a small size. So until then, as he gets faster, he's going to be more of a problem. So we get rid of Pestilence first, we get rid of Chad second. Incubus is so far behind, it's actually slightly causing a problem. We get another reroll in a second there. Maybe we'll get an item that is worthwhile. It's a D4. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I didn't expect those to be there at that time. Yeah, you attack him. I'm going to D4 myself. Let's see what happens. Uh, Tech X. <laughs> Fine. Help. Oh, a little brimstone. A little brimstone milk, which is no use at all to anybody at all. Ever. I want this to be recharged. It didn't get recharged. That's a shame. But I didn't want to risk being near the bloat at the wrong time, so it is what it is, I suppose. 
I suspect I forfeited all charges that way. Oh, you're still alive! I thought you died. Why didn't you die when I thought you died? Tech X is a. Uh, it's kind of like chocolate milk, but it doesn't have the tap shoot thing, which kind of makes it harder to know when you can actually fire it. Oh, we've got a. Uh, we've got a punch bag as well, a scapegoat, which allows us to. Well, enemies will randomly attack you, which can be a bad thing. But I think I'll do one reroll and stick with it. I quite like Tech X. Or Tech Point X, if you want to say it wrong. But it, I like the way Tech Point X rolls off the tongue, but it's completely wrong, so I'm not going to actually say it. Uh, and we're going to try to avoid the haunts. Well, maybe. I want to focus fire this son of a bitch. There we go. I think our punching bag there has actually saved us simply by <laughs> attracting the little ghosts until I could be bothered dealing with the haunt, which is actually really helpful, so thank you. Thank you for that. We'll re-roll this, we get Ipecac. I'm taking Ipecac. To see if I don't. We have uh, got rid of $3 bill, which was entertaining. We've also got rid of Incubus, which was entertaining. Uh, apparently I can't seem to charge up little Brimstone to save my life. There we go. Right, we've got a rhythm now. We're nearly there, we're done. No, not done. Beams? No beams. Just a headless horseman. Just a headless horseman which killed us on that daily a while ago, but that was a very difficult start. Headless horseman on a room with holes in it. And we get a choice whether to... Uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> we'll take it anyway. Whatever. Uh, where are we going? Hmm. That could have been better. I really think that we should have taken multi-dimensional baby. I don't even know how it works with Tech X, but there would have been an opportunity to find out. Instead, we've got Game Breaking Bug, which I think just breaks things for us. This is a shame. Like, when it causes us a Game Breaking Bug, it just fucks things up. The last time I had it and was paying attention to what it was doing, it turned an item I need. Did that literally just do me damage? Like, there was nothing there. I walked into this room and there was nothing there. And I still got damage, so whatever. And we're on, uh, we're on the wound now, so double damage all around. This is where we start looking for... We're not going to be able to do Hush, which is gratifying because, as you all know, I find it a tedious fight. We don't have a trinket, so we'll see if we can figure this. So there's no point rushing to Hush. We should do our due diligence and search all the rooms, try and find a way past the mom fight. A little Loki as well, maybe worth talking about. And the magnet. I have a magnet which does not make enemies come towards me, so that's really beneficial. If we can start each room with a little brimstone shot. I have just walked into it. I'm really good at that. I panic. I do that little panic thing. Oh shit, where are the enemies going to be? And instead of like, keeping calm and waiting for it, you know, watching what's happening and... <laughs> Don't think you have enough HP at this point. Oh, that's the problem. We'll have to stack up some more, see if we can get some more. Which involves not stepping on spikes. But I'm glad we went searching. Well, I suppose it only counts as going searching once you found the way down. But I'm glad we had the principle of going searching in mind. Let's, uh, let's take our re-roll to the boss. Say, hey boss, I've got you this re-roll, what do you think? Boss will be like, yeah, decent. Nice. Is it all enemies on the room at once that get affected by... Help, help. Ooh. By uh, my best, my punching bag then? Retrovision is not even remotely useful. Come on, let's find this boss and sort this out. That's some more HP. Just don't get hit and we should... Is that enough? I don't think that's enough. Like, there's a lot of HP on the wound to actually achieve the self-sacrifice room stuff. But if we can do it, we'll just get the eight, the eight, the points. We'll get the points from being there. Right? It doesn't actually matter if we succeed. We have a, a high probability of doing well despite dying. This is usually a secret room as well. 
XP. Wrong time. Now I would like to have two HP upgrades on the same floor. There's some money. Does that help us? I'm going to go no. Maybe. Uh, can I... The brimstone, please? He's right at the back, which makes him really difficult to aim. But except for when he's literally being in the middle of, uh, of the entire conquest barrage. Oh, he's done. Is he down? He's down. We didn't get a deal with the devil, which is upsetting. Uh, we'll re-roll this. Yes! Let's go. This will do it. That's a perfect item. I think... If I didn't know better, I would suggest that this was set up. And I don't know better, so I'm going to suggest that this was set up. I'm looking for a tinted drop, just to give us that bit of extra edge. Not seeing anything. We're not going to be able to do the Yarrow Rune thing that we did last time. Which is a shame, because that was fun. Come on then. We'll pop through here. Try not to step on any spikes, like those ones. I'm going to keep looking for tinted drops. They could still be very valuable. Oh, apologise for sniffing, but <laughs> minus a billion degrees in here. Of course, we have to wait for this thing to wear off every time, but that's fine. Tumpty dum. I don't know whether leaving and coming back in is a good idea, so I'm not going to risk it by doing so. Please be enough HP. Uh, enough. Hello? Something? Happen? No? You feel blessed. Okay. Now, give me seven spirit hearts. I have a chest. Well, it's some hearts, it's not spirit. We're gonna die. <laughs> There's one. That's better. Give it to me. You're charging up my lasers. Oh no, those are troll bombs. That's the opposite of what we need. Well, that's as far as we can get, I'm afraid. Pretty sure we're in capable of... Oh, I think we do this. No, we can't. Pick it up. No. Ah, oh, we needed one more HP to do that, but it didn't work. 17 no second. Look, we had to go deep on that. There was no way of getting a decent score without going to the dark room. We had to, we had to gamble, and I didn't find the extra HP that we needed. I honestly thought that it would take our eternal heart and not the black heart it was attached to, which is that was on me. So 17 no second. Uh, it's a write-off. <laughs> screw, screw today's run. We did well. We had fun. We re-rolled it once, which is risky, but we got Tech, tech X out of it, which is good. Ipecat Tech X. I think it just does poison damage. It's a good amount of damage. Good fun. Good run. Plenty of familiars. Come back tomorrow. Maybe we'll do better. <laughs>